everybody. We are here. Yeah, it scared me the first time that happened. You're like, oh, Zoom talks to you now. I know. It's crazy, right? Yeah, it threw me off for real. I was like, what? <laughs> what the hell? Is that but, uh, a person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is D with F10 Nerd Talk, and we have a brand new guest uh, coming to the show. Uh, she has been doing this for a good while now. Uh, everyone probably, if, you, if you're following FTO and you follow like the, the Instagram page, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is uh, Lexi Dream State. Lexi, welcome to the show. Thank you. And hello, people from the FTO Nerd Talks. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You've been doing this for a good while now. You've been doing this for almost over like uh, over a year now, haven't you? Actually, no, it's only been seven months now. It's only been seven. It's, it's getting to a year, but it's only been seven. You have been you have put out so much content in like in this past seven months. Like you got yourself a, a Twitch a Twitch streaming page, you got yourself a blooper reel. You have uh, two ambassador jobs, like uh, with Sheen and also uh, uh, it was, what were they called themselves? It's Melanie Blurted, wasn't it? Uh, Wickedly, Wickedly Blurly. That's what we, it is. It's, it's three, three now. <laughs> yeah. God. It's uh, Wickedly Bur- Blurty, Q- QA accessories, and, uh, and Sheen, of course. My and, goodness. Yeah. You're busy, like a, so you have, you've been doing this less than a year. You got three ambassadorships. You've been putting yourself out there on Twitch like crazy playing, uh, what was it, the Rogue, Rogue Gallery? Is that what it's called? Rogue, Rogue Company. Rogue <laughs> Company. Yeah, I'm off to the aren't I? Jeez. And Rogue Company. And I got to ask you, like, you did all this stuff. You got, like, all these different hats you're putting on. Like, how does it feel, like, to carry all this right now? Um, it's a little, it's a little overwhelming, but at the same time, I've always been a person that like to stay busy yeah <laughs> I, I like being bored <laughs> so you know <laughs> it, it's kind of fun it's fun to do like it's everything I'm doing it's always been something that I really want to do it's not just something that I just doing just because like I actually have passions for this so yeah it's been uh it's interesting especially doing this while I'm still in school so you know oh you're a student too wow yeah, I'm in college. Uh, this is my last uh, last couple of weeks. I have like, I'm on my, I'm on this. Yeah, I only have like five or six more weeks until I graduate. So I'm almost done. My goodness, congratulations! Thank you, thank you. Are you ready, like, to to go out into the world and try to see, like, you know, what it is that you want to do? Uh, I'm ready to take a nap. But you ready like, to take a nap? Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready to take a nap, but like <laughs> I am ready to, I am ready to start, you know, figuring out what I want to do as far cool. as career and just becoming financially stable. Right now, it's just I'm just in a nice, somewhat comfortable space, but I I, I would like to make it more, more of a, I guess, uh, consistent income. So. Yeah, well, not ever that comes. I'm right now. I'm just, I'm just enjoying the school life as as it is. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 excited to be done though. <laughs> I know I get that. I feel that completely. And like, and while while you're figuring that out, like you're also doing like a lot of collabs with a lot of different people, like who I'm sure like you admire and look up to, like in the cosplay world. Also, like a, aside from like all your school work. Yes, I have. And everybody I've been collabing with have been very nice people. Like I everyone I collab with has been people that I've genuinely talked to. Like we, we DM each other and even if we haven't DM each other consistently like a friendly friend basis, I respect their content. They respect mine. Like it's it's just you know, it's it's just a very mutually friendly thing and i i love everybody who i've collabed with so far so, <laughs> like for those of you out there who don't know like that the names a lot of names that you've been collabing with it's uh two-faced cosplay uh lady mm-hmm. cosplay and uh mm-hmm. mellow from mars those are a lot of few people that you've been talking with and collabing with and yes. just putting <laughs> putting your names on with them i'm pretty sure those are those are somewhat like the like the influential women out there like that just give you that that courage to keep on doing this i'm sure yeah for sure they definitely give me a lot of courage because the names that you just said all of them are very talented like <laughs> crazy talented I'm just, I get so shocked every time I see it I'm just like wow I know these peeps like 
this is cool. <laughs> like, yeah, so it's, it's really cool knowing that. Um, sorry, hold on, I gotta turn off the do not disturb. I forgot to do that, but yeah, um, it's very cool knowing that I'm I've gained these uh, connections with very not only talented but very nice people. They're all been very nice to me and. Yeah, it's just been nice meeting them and getting getting to know them. Besides the whole cosplay thing too. <laughs> That's cool. I I, I got to ask you though. Like, I usually don't ask this question in particular, but like since you've done so many collabs, I got to ask, what's your favorite collab that you've done so far? Not like to the cast only one out, but like, is there any collabs out there that you just really love and had a good time with? Oh man, see this one hard because I I I like these collabs in different ways. But I'm gonna have to give it, and no offense to the people, all the people I collab with. Or not. To this, no offense. <laughs> no offense to you. I love you guys. Like, but I feel like the most fun one, the most like prominent one in my mind, would have to be the one I did with Mello, the Hey Arnold one. I feel like everybody know that one. But oh that yeah. One, that one was really crazy. We like we. We just we just went all out. We went with all pretty much all the characters except for the adults. But you know, it was very fun, and the dynamic between us when we were just doing it, like when we were planning, it was very like we were bouncing off each other's ideas. So yeah, I, I really liked that one the most. <laughs> you guys like did a lot of those too. Like, and I know I know like Melo's work. Like she really gets into her stuff. Like she really like takes on those characters when she yes. when she does it. And she does it like in her own way too. And it seems like it seems like you did the same thing also. It seems like you really got into these characters as well. And looking at your previous work to like to like your work after, like it seems like you really like you know change how you like uh, approach all your stuff afterwards as well. Am I am I right in saying that? Yeah, you're definitely right. I was struggling at first. I mean, I was doing good for myself, but the more with each cosplay, I had learning more and more with of uh, just some things that at least how to go about it. I'm becoming more creative in my mind. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just been really fun, <laughs> like learning how to do different things with my content and with my cosplays. Like, I've been very very like I don't know passionate and just like fired up more like more so it's been fun <laughs> Dude, that's cool I like that and like your your latest one of uh Riley with <laughs> with his uh with his, with his tank top and his skirt with his uh, with his man back it's, yeah, that, one. <laughs> that, it's, uh, that was taken off like people are really enjoying this one. like you you uh you made some waves with this one here like how does it feel like to see like one of your one of your cosplays like really like like uh do something because i haven't seen this cosplay before yeah yeah i've that one threw me when people when i saw how many people were like actually engaging with this i'm like well dang was it that good <laughs> yeah yeah it was like they were I mean, engaging they were sharing like I, I know tons of people like tons of stories i saw this on like it's wow. it's uh you did you did a really good job on this thing like you really like, like sold the show with this one <laughs> thank you thank you like it's and i with that one i did work pretty hard like i stepped outside my comfort zone with that one because well i don't know it's two things one i don't like to show my belly too much it's just a little insecurity so that's one thing but i decided to to try open myself up a little more with that because I saw Riley. I just actually recently watched the episode and that's why I was like, man, no one's cosplayed them. Yeah, that, crazy. Let me try. Crazy. <laughs> why not? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was one thing. And another thing was like I stepped outside my comfort zone with the editing because I didn't have a brown skirt at all. So I tried uh just drawing digitally uh a brown just colored it brown myself and i worked with it i worked with it you did it dude you did it (laughs) insane work like uh, because i i didn't even notice it until i got on my computer and had like to look at it like that's not that's edited that is a drawn in skirt and like i did not notice that from my phone so like good on you man like you killed it thank you i I wanted people to not but see that's the thing though i want people to notice it just so they can notice like yeah she did that but at the same time 
I wanted people to be like, oh yeah, she's just wearing a skirt. Yeah, <laughs> so, I feel it. That's your art, man. I like it. It's cool. Yeah, I'm trying to get more into that too because it's been fun drawing cosplays. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to get into more into that. So you might just see that more. <laughs> well, I can't wait. I can't wait at all. And like, that's really like the best part about your, about your content is that like you always see the fun you have, like whether you're playing Billy, what is like Lumpy Space Princess, what is, uh, is, what is Marceline or yes. even Shaggy, like one of your first cosplays, what are, is like any one of those characters, like you're always trying to have fun with what you do. And like you, you, you do it your way. Like you, you, you try to like to put anyone on blast. Like you, you don't put like any, any kind of like outside stuff into it. Like you just, you see what's out there, you have fun with it and you just go. And like, it's, it's always a good time. I see yourself pop up on my feet. Thank you. I appreciate that. And yeah, that's really what it's about. Like me from the beginning, it was just me. Like I needed a coping mechanism, yeah. you know, pandemic, other stuff going School. on in my life. Yeah. So yeah. And just, doing all that and now putting cosplay on top of it it just it's stressful but at the same time it's always been fun like it's just been nothing but fun <laughs> and I I it's definitely given me a lot of confidence so I'm very glad that I started like it's it's definitely helped me hey you and me both like I'm really glad you started this too because uh just how uh <clears throat> just how Two Face cosplay and Mellow from Mars are inspiration to you. I'm pretty sure you're going to be inspiration for like the next generation out there who sees his and so like, hey, I don't want to do this. I got insecurities also. Seeing you do your thing and put yourself out there, like it really like it's, it changes a lot of mindsets out there. Like and like, I appreciate you for putting yourself out there. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Like <laughs> I am thinking about that because I there are some younger people that follow me. It's mostly been people my age and older, but when I see a younger person um, follow me or like, you know, DM me and say, oh yeah, you've inspired me to cosplay. I'm like, wow, I really inspired somebody today. I did not know that. I was Feeling, just being yeah. a fool. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what? That's cool. So it just really, it, it really warms my heart when I see people actually get inspired by my cosplays because I'd be goofy. <laughs> the whole time well we're all here for the goofy absolutely yeah, so, so, yeah tell me lexi what's uh what's next on the list for you when it comes to cosplay when it comes to gaming when it comes to your tiktoks what what should we look out for from you uh see that's a loaded question oh yeah <laughs> definitely welcome to fto home of loaded oh, questions yeah. <laughs> oh great great to be welcome okay but yeah, as far as my next big thing, I don't know. I really don't. It's just a mixture of things that's in my mind because my mind won't stop going. Um, but yeah, as far as the next big thing, it's right now. It's just just keep cosplaying. I want to start getting to poetry more than I have been. I've already been to poetry, but because you're you're a writer too, right? Yeah, I'm a writer. I I like to write poetry and. I wanted to uh, get better at that. And also, you know, I will put this out there. I will, I'm going to be starting to uh, do more character inspired poetry. I don't know if that makes sense. It'll no, make it does. It, but yeah, I'm not going to get too deep. It's just, you'll see it. It's going to be interesting. Lady um, Zimmy, uh, High Row, they both do like a either rap or kind of like you know novellas of their of stories of characters like of their own creation that i've seen before so like this would be in that same wheelhouse so I'm, I'm here to see what you what you put out there in like a, a fanfic headcanon kind of way so i'm excited to see what happens <laughs> yeah it should be interesting like yeah I, don't, I mean um i don't know if you saw it but i did a halloween costume where i i co cosplayed as my vampire oc her name's mira I made a whole poem based on her backstory. Nice. So stuff like that. It's going to be, in the future, it's going to be some me, a co me cosplay a character and write a poetry about it. I guess that's, I guess that's a way of saying that. So, like, yeah. All I want to say to you is take your time. We're here for it. And like, you know, you're, you're always your best self. But like, I'm here to see whatever, whatever greatness you put out there. Like, and like, and continuously keep tagging me in everything you put out there. Cause I love seeing your work every single time. Thank you. Thank you. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been fun. 
and i appreciate your support like as well I, stop every time i appreciate it like i i don't know i just i i get happy <laughs> i get happy every time uh, I started FTO because I did not see enough representation out there, and I wanted to keep that representation going because if we don't do it, uh, no one will. And we noticed that for 80, 100 plus years now. So, like, keep putting yourself out there, put out other folks as well. Like, it makes me feel good. It uh, has a good feeling to it, people who look like us, and it's not going to stop. So, I, I'm grateful for you for making the content so I can put it out there. So, thank you so much okay you're welcome and thank you like again i don't know i'm feeling like we're i feel like we're both gonna be saying thank you this whole time i'm okay with that i'm fine with that i'm here i'm here for the thank you i'm here for the compliments i mean it's it's almost thanksgiving we gotta yes. be thankful about I mean, you know turkey, turkey day is a fun day for some people so yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> yes we, I do have one question. I asked this question to everyone who's on my show. And it's, uh, it's one of those older questions you were talking about before. It's, uh, you've been doing this for a little under a year. I think since March now, you've had like a lot of people that you worked with and uh, collab with and a lot of characters you put on yourself to put out there into the world. And I just got to ask, what would you want to say to all the folks who've helped you out along the way like and had your back and supported you through all this? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> um. First off, thank you. Again, back to the thank yous. I got I to gotta thank my people again. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> just, just thank you. I don't know. Like, I, it's crazy because thinking back on it, there are people who have literally stuck with me from the very beginning. People who aren't just my family or my friends. And that's crazy to think about that they've really stuck with me and continue to like my content, comment, share, et cetera, et cetera. And just, and I actually gotten to know a lot of these people on a friendship basis too. And I'm not the type of person with a lot of friends. So when I have a friend, like a friendship, when I develop that, it means a lot for me. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for being a follower, a friend. Just thank you for supporting me, like regardless of all the stuff that I do on the internet, because sometimes it'd be it'd be ugly. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for being yourself. Uh where where can people find you, Lexi? Um, you can find me on Instagram, of course, Twitter, TikTok, uh, Twitch. And yeah, that's it. That's all the socials. <laughs> but yeah, that's where you can find me. <laughs> right on. I'm here for it. And you post, you post daily on all of these platforms. So make sure you guys follow these pages. They're going to be in the show notes down below when you read the podcast. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you guys check out her work and see what she puts out there because it's always fun. It's always exciting. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show, Lexi. I hope to have you on again sometime again in the future. I hope I can work with you or collab with you in the future also. But uh, keep being you, keep being exciting, and keep uh, keep changing the world, man. Thank you. And same to you. Like, keep doing what you're doing. Like, you're awesome. Like, <laughs> I appreciate it um, just for you having me on here. Like, thank you. I didn't, I didn't expect to, to even come on here at but I, I appreciate it again. <laughs> I know I know the feeling. I've I've had like, you know, a few times I was like, you know, I really don't want to do this. And like the nerves are getting to me, so I'm not gonna do it. But uh, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you worked through it. I'm glad we're having this conversation. I'm glad the whole world gonna get to hear your voice sometime in the future. So thank you so much again for being on there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, this is D of FTO Nerd Talk. Uh find me everywhere you find FTO Nerd Talk. Uh just type in FTO Nerd Talk. If every if you are having a drinking game while you're uh, listening to FTO Nerd Talk, remember, uh whenever I say FTO Nerd Talk, you have to take a shot. So until next time, you guys take it easy. A whole lot of shots. <laughs> <laughs>